So last week we talked about actually collaborating and sharing your data. So for this episode, I want to look into analyzing the data that you have gathered or you have captured or the survey you sent out to individuals to actually submit. I want to look at the records that you have gotten. So for this tutorial, we, we use the welfare survey. As you can see, we have 13 records already. So we want to look into analyzing these records and how survey one, two, three, make that easy for you. So as you can see, you can see the records, see um, design, we have to collaborate, but today we'll be looking into analyzing the record. So click on analyze. Yes. So as you can see, we have a new page. This is the analyze page that has been opened to us. As you can see, at the top, you see have the overview here, the design, the collaborate to analyze the data setting. But today we are looking into analyzing the data that was gathered. So on the left hand side, we have a navigation pane. This navigation pane actually allows you to navigate through all your questions. And each data in those questions that, that was gotten, you know, help you analyze each of them. Like the first one here, we have the dates. Now this data actually shows us um, the period the survey was filled because we actually incorporated dates into our survey one to three. So as you can see, um, 12 records came in October 1st and we just have a record till October 21st, which we have just one record. Also we have the names. Now these names actually show the names of people that actually fill your survey. Now for some survey which um, you know for some data collection process which you, know, you have similar names maybe someone submitted more than four or five records this this pane actually shows you how many people or how many um, times a person submitted from but each of them actually submitted one 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 as you can see here now what you need to take note is um this uh the show words this tab here that says show words now for example for the names because this is actually a text kind of input so um some people have you know we have the first name the um middle name and the son name also so if you want your data to be differentiated into just words alone so it will actually separate the words with the space bar with the space that was you know, in the middle. For example, as you can see in this place, we have Lumide, Lumbemi. So if I click on show words, it actually show individual words. It separates all the words into a single data. So that's that. that. And also we have the um, department. So um, if you don't understand how we got um, to this point, you will actually want to check the previous video on how we you know, generated this survey. Now we have a department tab where you, I'll just go over the design so you could know how we got the um, department. So. On this form, we have um, we actually created a list so that um, when someone fills the form, it can actually choose from this list of um, departments. That is, I've got to the department. Stay so Now, I want to analyze how many departments, how many people that fill the form, and what department do they belong to. So as you can see, it actually shows a same map and differentiated it with the different with different point colors. So as you can see, you can click on this pane to check the legend. So you want to know, okay, which is which, which color represents what department. 
and so on so you have as you can see the blue represents the technical department and other colors represent the others so and if you want to actually visualize this um on a pie chart you can actually click on this tab here on pie you want to know the distribution of of um, the different departments here yeah, we have the business development three um the technical for people operations we have for us you know, we have the sales just to people we have also the bar charts and the column charts so, so the map actually shows you the spatial distribution of the data so how they are specially distributed could be incorporated location into um, the form so we wanted to know okay how many sales people are living at one end as you can see from this data here we know that um, the operations teams are actually clustered in the area so we have the operations team living almost together especially they are actually close to each other so this can tell you more information about the data that you gathered be it um, the data about anything so it can actually tell you more about your data give you the spatial distribution of the data you have got based on the attributes that you set for it so the staff id number these are just numbers that you know you can actually this these numbers are just you know, static numbers so you don't really have much um, analysis to do on them but just in case you have the data that you know you need to specify um the charts very well you have the settings here and click on the settings here to actually because you know numbers um gives more information so you can actually differentiate then based on maybe equal intervals or you want to manually impute the interval or natural breaks and so on and so forth you have a whole lot of options yes yeah, so it definitely depends on how you want to you know, tweak your data to give you more concise information now I want to know um, the distribution of people who own a car and people who don't own a car this is where you can actually analyze the data so here we have um, seven people own a car but five people don't actually own a car so as you can see the percentage distribution here to the survey one two three actually helps you to analyze this data easily you know, give you results easily you don't need to go through the stress of trying to do all that by yourself it actually automates and analyzes your results easily so also the medium of trans transit as you can see for people who don't actually have a car that click you no know, we actually created a rule that brings up pops up another question and the question actually asks them what medium of transport um, they use so if you check on this chart you can see the different medium of transportation if you check on the legend we have the boat the train and people who work on other people too then you can click on the pie chart to actually see the distribution how many people actually use the bus to work how many people actually um, use the train and how many people actually work so now you want to know for this person that works you want to be sure that okay how many what, what is the distance this person is actually working to work? All you have to do is you know, use your map, locate the destination for someone who works. Use your legend. Um, we have this green slide green. So you could actually know the location of the person who works to work. Actually, calculate, you know, have a visual representation of um, how the person distance the person actually works to work every day so if you want to try and give you more insight about your data easily how you can interpret your data interpret your data easily analyze them for you 
easily as you can see the percentage I'll give it here. Now we have the home address. I want to know um, how many people actually share the same area. You know that well, two people actually you know, are in the same area. And you will see we have visited two people with two twelve workers working, Chabi twelve workers working at Sukuru, um, two in Karu, and the rest is just one one. We have the transportation fare. So you want to know um, the difference is okay. How, how many people actually um, spend less than three hundred to work? How many people spend above three hundred and between six hundred and so on and so forth? And actually, you can actually tweak it any way you want with these settings here. Just tweak your interval, bit equal interval. Maybe you want to have maybe five classes. Instead of classes, we just tweak that any way you want, and also you can actually manually you know, distribute it from 1200 to 700 to 900. So we want to have maybe 500. To say 300. So, so it all depends how you actually want to, you know, make how you want to actually interpret your data to make sure it gives you a very good information as you can see this. We just have to use the equal interval. Equal interval works well, and just reduce this to three to actually give us a really concise information. So, this actually gives us more better information. So, and this actually gives you the statistic: the minimum was zero, the maximum was nine hundred, and the average, the average, um, all your work has spent work and the sum. Which actually give you a breakdown of the analysis you want to do or for that decision you want to make. So this also the number of stops, same thing applies there, the number of stops when you tweak your your data, you can actually also visualize it on the map. So on so forth. The time also the same thing goes with the time. Same thing you have to clone bar, bar, and the map of your data. So depending on how you want your data to be interpreted. So that is that about you know analyzing your survey one to three data, your survey one to three records that came in. Actually, so it, it goes for every type of you know data collection process. It is data collection to collect responses. It is data collection to actually collect um, points data, um, attribute data of points, attribute data of in, um, um, buildings, and so on and so forth. So if you want to treat one can actually you know help you easily analyze use data easily and also you also have the option to actually print data for example you are trying to do a summary report or you know, you're trying to do um, a technical report about you know, the, the projects which you use your survey one two three to actually carry out you have the option to actually print all these data that have been analyzed for example I don't need this date. I don't need um, the report to contain this date, so I will just actually hide this. And you can actually print your current 
to be so the current link has to be printed and export as a PDF or you can actually directly print okay, so these are all the reports that was gathered about the data and the responses so like I said before um, in case you don't want um, to, you don't want to include some of this in your data you can actually hide the dates um, if you don't want to include the names you can switch that off I don't want to include um, the staff ID number data just hide that so when I actually click on this print view You can see just tarot from the department, um, the medium of transport, how many carriers, and so on and so forth. So, that is that about you know analyzing the records or the data that come in to your CV123. So, um, next week we are going to be looking into the data. You know managing the data that comes in and also exporting the data a different format so see you on the next episode